Howdy, we are the HydroWorks Engineering Co. Project team. My name is Reagan Rucker. I'm here with my colleagues Bryce Florence, Abigail Ayers, and Brianna Lawrence. Our 2019-2020 capstone project was the Water Conveyance and Distribution System in Las Mesitas, Nicaragua. Our clients for this project was Just for Water. The Just for Water team included Victoria Bratil and Guillermo Gomez Salas. Our contact in Nicaragua was Victorino Centeno, Director of Avodec. Our faculty advisor was Dr. Robert Hardin, and our project manager was Professor Stark. The project location of Las Mesitas, Nicaragua, visualized in Figure 1, is a small rural village whose access to the nearest water source is limited. To obtain water for use throughout the day, women and children must walk a distance of approximately 1.6 kilometers with an elevation change in excess of 150 meters to obtain it. The objective of this project was to design a water conveyance, storage, and distribution system to provide the village a continuous water supply that overcomes the elevation change, as well as perform on-site water testing and analysis and implement a disinfection and filtration system into the design if deemed necessary. Our project has two deliverables, a final recommendation report and a PowerPoint presentation. The final recommendation report includes design recommendations of all system components, an overview of techniques for maintaining the system for at least 10 years, water testing results and analysis, as well as an economic analysis of the potential system. The PowerPoint presentation will include a summary of the design specifications and the economic analysis that will be utilized to present to future investors for the project. Three main constraints were taken into consideration during the design process. The first constraint to the project was limited access to technology, electricity, and supplies within the community. Another constraint for the design was that the system must require easy, low-cost maintenance due to the limited financial resources of the project area. Lastly, due to limited financial assets, the project design should remain within a budget of 15,000 and 20,000 US dollars. The approach to the final design began with an in-depth literature review and an on-site visit where necessary data was gathered. After returning from the on-site visit, all necessary calculations and models were conducted. Once the system was sized and potential solutions were analyzed, a final solution recommendation and economic analysis was prepared. For ease of design and documentation, the project was divided into five major categories, the pump system, the storage tank, the disinfection and filtration systems, the water distribution system, and the energy supply. Our literature review con was conducted using regulation databases, past project specifications, and design literature. For the pump, the daily consumption requirement for our population was determined using Nicaraguan regulations. Many types of pumps were considered and analyzed, including submersible versus surface mounted, centrifugal versus positive displacement, and AC or DC systems. Equations for total dynamic head, losses in conveyance, and horsepower were also utilized. For the storage tank, the capacity must compensate for the volume variations and emergencies. The total extra capacity was determined to be 35% of the daily consumption needs. Materials analyzed for this tank were found to be reinforced concrete, metal, or masonry. Cylindrical versus rectangular shaped tanks were also examined as potential solutions. For the disinfection and filtration system, preliminary water quality research of similar areas in Nicaragua were conducted to find potential contaminants in the water system before on-site water quality analysis was able to be conducted. With these findings, three systems were researched, slow sand filtration, membrane filtration, and a chlorinator with a disc filter. For the water distribution system, regulations were researched to be used as a guide in design of a system capable of supplying water to 49 dwellings. The layout of the system could be looped, branched, or mesh. Mesh are complex and expensive for installation. Loop systems are highly reliable, but require a lot of material, while branch systems tend to be the most cost-friendly solution. Lastly, the energy supply could connect to grid, a diesel generator, or solar power. Although grid and diesel power both have strong advantages, solar was highly recommended by the client due to the implementation in similar designs. The analyzation of our literature review and potential solutions has led us to our final design solution. The pump system will be submersible and centrifugal. The pump will be powered by DC, which is preferred by the client and more compatible with our solar energy supply. The pump must supply 1.26 liters per second, assuming five and a half hours of sunlight due to tree coverage and solar panel location. The main line for our conveyance system will be 50 millimeters and installed above ground using SDR-17 PVC. Completion of our calculations using these specifications led us to recommend the mono sun sub DC pump with 20 gallons per minute flow rate, the five horsepower brushless motor as seen in figure two, and the solar motor, motor control seen in figure three. The alternative recommendation is the Franklin 4-inch series V submersible pump at 20 gallons per minute, with a five horsepower motor as well. This alternative is given in case the client decides to implement an AC system instead of a DC system. 
For the storage tank, a reinforced concrete rectangular tank is recommended. The tank's dimensions were determined to maintain a capacity of 11,060 liters to serve the 10-year, 281-person expected future population of Las Mesitas. Three piping, piping connections are also recommended. First, the input connection which carries the water from the well to the tank is suggested to be routed to the top middle of the storage tank. The final two pipe connections will serve as outputs from the tank. The first will be utilized to distribute water through a distribution system to the dwellings. The second output connection will serve as an overflow pipe to dispose of excess water by free discharge onto a concrete slab to prevent soil erosion, as required by Nicaraguan regulations. A double metal frame lid should be installed on the tank's top surface to allow for access into the interior. It is recommended that this hatch be placed at least half a meter away from each side edge of the tank for stability. During the on-site visit, a variety of water quality tests were conducted. Test results were compared to current Nicaraguan drinking water regulations, and it was found that only the pH and bacteria levels were not within these standards. During the design, the pH levels will not be addressed due to the levels being a recommendation and not a requirement. Based on the test results and analysis, it was decided that the CTIA chlorinator, seen in figure seven, best fit the current needs of the village. This unit will be placed at the inlet of the tank within a brick and mortar encasement. The unit will supply a controlled recommended dosage of one milligram of chlorine per liter of water to the system with the use of solid chlorine tablets that will incur an operation cost of approximately 14 US dollars per month. Also, due to the low turbidity test results, it is suggested that a two inch wide disc filter seen in figure eight be used as a precautionary filtration measure to prevent potential damage to the distribution system. The unit should be placed at the outlet of the tank using the proper 50 millimeter adapters for connect. For the water distribution system, a branch network is recommended due to the unique layout and varied topography of Las Mesitas. Utilizing a branch distribution layout allows for the most cost-friendly solution due to its simplistic installation and low material requirement. The design consists of SDR 26 50 millimeter PVC main lines, SDR 26 25 millimeter PVC sub mains, and SDR 13.5 12 millimeter PVC connection lines into the dwellings as required by Nicaraguan standards. Since the system will be gravity fed, the layout of the system was determined simply based on each elevation at the dwellings to be serviced. The design layout can be visualized in figure six. Majority of the lines shall not pass under the roads. However, where they do, at least one meter of coverage must be implemented above the pipe crown to protect from road activity. Finally, two pressure reducing valves must be used within the system to ensure that pressures remain between the Nicaraguan regulations of five to 50 meters. To supply energy for the design system, the use of solar panels, specifically the SunPowered E-Series commercial solar panels, are recommended due to their high performance and reliability. These solar panels are the only cells built on a, solar, on a solid copper foundation, making them virtually impervious to corrosion and cracking. These panels provide 435 watts each, thus nine panels will be required for the 4,000 watt supply for the design. The panels will be located no more than 120 meters from the pump location because the longer the distance, the more energy is lost. Recommended locations were provided to the client, but the specific location of the panels is to be determined by AvoDeck. To ensure a short distance, vegetation will have to be cleared from the chosen site. The total cost to construct and maintain the recommended design will range from 37,000 to 39,000 US dollars. Capital costs for the projects are expected to account for majority of the cost with an expense ranging between roughly 35,000 to 37,000 US dollars, dependent on whether an AC or DC system is chosen to be implemented. Finally, the project is expected to incur a low operational cost over its lifespan as only basic regular maintenance is needed. The total cost of the system exceeds the ideal budget range provided by the client. However, per the client's request to use solar energy and the size of the system required to ensure the needs of the 10-year future population, the project team determined that this exceedance is necessary. Thank you.